It's a moment. It's a chapter. It's not the entire book of your life. Imagine that you can be unstuck by the end of this live stream. You know, Gary and I speak about being caught up in the storm or stuck in the chaos all around you. We speak about staying in the eye of the storm where your choices are unlimited. And here, in the calmness of the eye, stuck doesn't exist. And now we've spoken about some of the most successful and wealthy individuals in the world. And let me tell you a secret. Wealth doesn't change you. It amplifies you. If you're generous, you become more generous. If you're fearful, you become more fearful. It's a magnifying glass of your true self. And that's where self-confidence comes into play. That's the inner belief, that, that inner fire that propels you forward, that allows you to navigate through the storm of self-doubt and fear. But how do you ignite that fire? especially when you're feeling stuck. You start by acknowledging where you are. You see, you can't move forward if you're not honest about your starting point. And being stuck, feeling overwhelmed, well, it's a starting point. It's not your destination. So remember, you're not alone in this journey. We all, especially women, find ourselves comparing our past, our progress to others. It's a trap that can pull you down, but only if you let it. So let's make a pact right now. Let's lift each other up. Let's be the light in someone else's darkness. Let's be the force that propels them forward. And when life feels too much, when the demands are high and the energy is low, just remember this. You have the power to change your state, to change your story. You have the power to reach out, to ask for help, to be the help that someone else needs. That's what the, the virtual round table is all about. Beyonce said it beautifully. She says, that she goes, think like a queen. A queen is not afraid to fail. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. So let's embrace our failures. Let's embrace our fears. And let's use them as the stepping stones to our own greatness. So now let's get practical. Because here I'm going to give you five steps that you can utilize right away to help you get unstuck and become mentally unstoppable. The first one is you want to acknowledge and accept recognizing your feelings without judgment. Accept that it's okay to feel stuck and understand that it's part of the journey. It's not the destination. Now here, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest. Okay, and um, I think we talked about this in, in the last live stream is that, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, fake it till you make it and all this kind of stuff, but that creates this, this, this incoherence within because the subconscious mind that is actually the part that's holding you stuck knows that you're not telling the truth and then you actually become even more stuck. So identify your fears. Write down what you're afraid of. No one else is going to see this. Be honest. So here's a re really good question when you're writing this down. Is it, are you afraid of failure? Or is it success that you're afraid of? Understanding your fears is the first step to conquering them. As I've said many, many times, if you can't track it, you can't manage it. And this is managing fear. So if you're not honest with yourself when you're writing, making this list and such, 
then you're going after the wrong goal. Find it, dig deep. Don't spend five minutes doing this. You should spend five hours doing this. You should put this in your, in your planner. I'm gonna take this afternoon and I'm gonna find out what the hell's in my way. Because I know it's there. I just have to be 